Now I will go through Cyblast. Cyblast is actually not really a multiple sequence alignment algorithm. It is more of an iterative single sequence algorithm. So the, the reason why it's important was because it was actually the first algorithm that really efficiently could use multiple sequence alignment in a good way. And of course, as you can hear from the name, it's based on BLAST. And so the, it's quite simple in this idea. It basically constructs a multi, it runs BLAST, constructs a multiple sequence alignment, and use that to make a profile. And then use this profile to search the database again for more sequences, and then keeps on iterating through that several times. So in short, you have your, protein sequence, you have your input sequence, and you search the protein sequence database, you should stand up last and here they keep, and then you filter the results depending on the probability threshold so basically you really take your uh, take advantage of the good quality of blast that is good at, at finding knowing the accuracy of alignment or, 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 or your hits so you don't have uh, so you use an e-value threshold so often i think the default is five times ten to minus two so that means that your most of the hits are correct, and I they only have 0.5% risk of having a false one. Then you just use that for matching multiple sequence alignment, which is actually not really a multiple sequence alignment. You just align every pair of sequence for just query sequence. And you, you create a position specific score matrix, as I already described, and use this one to search using BLAST, which is fast, again. So it has a number of advantages. It's fast because it's. Um, is this blast? So even a five, six, ten iterations is much faster than dynamic programming, and it actually is way much better than dynamic programming because you find more hits and you get better alignments, and you can still come have good estimates of the e values. Of course, you don't get optimal alignments, but that's that's obviously a disadvantage. So the important factors here are actually are the e value cutoffs and the number of iterations. So if you run it, you, the more iterations you run, the high risk you have to get some false positives. But, and the same thing if you have lower e-value cutoffs, you can also have a high, higher risk of getting false positives. And in particular, it's often important to use some kind of low complexity filtering. The latest version BLAST deals with this in, 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 doesn't use a specific filter, which is probably better on average, but there are cases where you actually end up getting false positives because of low complexity sequences. So, as I said before, with the protein sequence as query, use BLAST to search a protein sequence database, collect all its local alignment, those with e-values less than a uh, threshold are included in the multi sequence alignment, you extract the PSSM or profile of this one, and you use this one to search again, and you iterate until fixed number of times until it converges. Nowadays, it's quite rare that you converge because you keep finding more and more sequences often, because the databases are so big.